To call ball lightning a rare phenomenon would be an understatement. It has appeared just a few times in history and its strange properties make it hard to define. But those aren't the only things that make ball lightning rare. Unlike UFOs, ghost lights, and other unexplained phenomena in our atmosphere, scientists generally agree that ball lightning is real. That's right. This is one conspiracy theory that even the mainstream researchers can't deny. So what exactly is ball lightning? What do the eyewitnesses say about it? And what could be causing it? Let's find out. One million people entering a surveillance camera capturing the unidentified flying saucer. The world is going to end. What does ball lightning look like? If you want to know what ball lightning looks like, the easiest way to find out is to see for yourself. Researchers from Northwest Normal University in China somehow managed to capture this insanely rare phenomenon on tape back in 2012. They were studying thunderstorms and captured the ball by complete accident. And this slowed down video shows the object pulsing and emitting a wide spectrum of light. Of course, this isn't the only time ball lightning has been caught on tape. Throughout the years, numerous videos have been published on the internet that seem to show the phenomenon. The truth is that descriptions of ball lightning are incredibly varied. Its size can range from pea size to meteor wide, but it always lasts longer than a flash of lightning. Another interesting detail is that these plasma balls tend to leave a smell of sulfur in their wake. Some have spotted ball lightning moving through walls, while others say that this phenomena can melt nearby objects or set them on fire. A wide range of colors have been reported, including red, orange, and yellow. Why is ball lightning a big deal? So why is ball lightning such a big deal? After all, isn't this just a normal bolt of lightning in a different shape? Consider the fact that ball lightning has entered buildings and even airplanes through closed doors. It also has a tendency to wander, almost as if it has a mind of its own. Amazingly, a recent survey in France found that people are actually more likely to find ball lightning inside their own homes than outside. National Weather Service's Lightning Safety Awareness Week. TV6's Dustin Bonk met with a family today who had a close encounter with a rare phenomenon called ball lightning, which entered their home. The event happened about 30 years ago, but the Vachon family says they'll never forget it. White bluish ball come floating out of that room. Joe Vachon of Gwyn came up close and personal with ball lightning. He and his wife Rose were entertaining friends on a hot August day in 1980. Joe was making a drink when he turned around. I could see a light white blue ball. Just and there it was. You're speechless when it happens. You, you, you don't experience anything except what's going in your eyes. I was just staring. I, I was in awe. The ball entered the room from the hallway, floated about a foot off the ground, and touched the TV, disabling it. The whole event took about 15 seconds. When the ball came into contact with the TV, it imploded with a deafening bang, and it shook the house. It was just a very loud bang, and poof, it was gone, and everybody's kind of just standing there staring at each other, looking. They describe it as about the size of a soccer ball floating silently in the air. Joe says it was a bright blue and white and looked more like liquid. According to the American Meteorological Society, ball lightning is rare, so online footage is scarce and often low quality. The Vachans have no footage of their encounter, but Joe says he'll never forget it. Let's take a look at some of the most notable reports of ball lightning in history. The first recorded examples of ball lightning. One of the first recorded examples of ball lightning came in 1195. This was the year that the Gervais of Canterbury stated that a marvelous spherical shape descended from the clouds before turning into a fiery globe. In 1638, four people died when a church was hit by ball lightning in Devon, England. In 1726, the crew of a ship sailing through the Gulf of Florida reported a ball of fire that shattered the mast and killed one man. In 1749, the crew of the HMS Montague spotted a large ball of blue fire that exploded and left a sulfur-like smell behind. The ball came so close that it knocked several men right off their feet. In 1753, Professor George Rickman was killed by ball lightning while conducting a kite-flying experiment. 
In 1809, the crew of another ship was struck by three balls of fire, killing two men. Once again, a strange sulfuric smell was reported. One of the most notable witnesses of ball lightning was Tsar Nicholas II of Russia, who stated, I suddenly saw a fiery ball flying from the window straight toward the head of the emperor. The ball, it was of lightning, whirled around the floor, then passed the chandelier and flew out through the door into the park. There have been multiple reports of ball lightning appearing inside planes. A researcher at the University of Kent witnessed this in 1969 and published his report in Nature, stating, A glowing sphere a little more than 20 centimeters or 8 inches in diameter emerged from the pilot's cabin and passed down the aisle of the aircraft approximately 50 centimeters, 20 inches from me, maintaining the same height and course for the whole distance over which it could be observed. In 2014, Logan Air Flight 6780 was struck by ball lightning over the United Kingdom. The object hit the nose of the plane, causing it to drop thousands of feet in altitude and make an emergency landing. One of the most recent instances occurred in 2011 when a ball of light smashed through the window of a hospital in Czech. The ball then proceeded to bounce from floor to ceiling before disappearing. Once again, witnesses reported the smell of sulfur in its wake. The Conspiracy Theories Scientists have proposed a number of possible explanations, including the vaporized silicone hypothesis, the microwave cavity hypothesis, and the nanobattery hypothesis. While many ideas have been thrown around, the jury is still out among the scientific community. Some conspiracy theorists say the ball lightning is some kind of portal, or excess energy left behind from an interdimensional gateway. There are, of course, those who believe ball lightning is somehow connected to UFOs. While the ball lightning itself might not be a UFO, it might come from one. For example, some allege that ball lightning comes from the hyperdrive systems of alien spacecraft. Finally, there are many conspiracy theorists who believe that ball lightning is some kind of spiritual or extra-dimensional being. There are many reports of these objects seemingly following people and entering their homes. Could this be a sign that ball lightning is somehow sentient? Final Thoughts Although ball lightning might not be the wildest conspiracy theory out there, it's definitely one of the most widely accepted. No one can deny that this phenomenon exists, and even scientists are forced to throw up their hands in confusion. That alone makes ball lightning one of the most interesting paranormal phenomenon. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the next person to see the strange occurrence with your own eyes. Your narrator, me, has a story about this. When my mother was a little girl, her and her sisters, along with their great-grandfather, were all sleeping upstairs in a two-story house. There was two bedrooms. It was basically a very long attic, even on both sides, split, partitioned in the middle. One night, a ball of fire flew in and hovered in the room and flew out the opposite window. That sounds an awful lot like ball lightning to me. I'll have to let the family know. Do you personally have any experiences with ball lightning? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for listening. Be well.